Now, as Spencer has been saying, the true danger of these storms is how the soil can't take much more. We've already seen countless trees fall on cars, homes, and even kill an infant in the North Bay. Today, another downed tree, this time in Pleasanton. ABC 7 News reporter Ansar Hassan spoke to the father of the family who says they are lucky to be alive. The work is ongoing to clean up this 100-foot tree that fell into Gary Venerucci's house Saturday night. I think, honestly, it was by the grace of God that we got out of our house alive. And um, I think uh, my father-in-law is watching over us. He recently passed away of um, lung cancer. And yeah, he always uh, was concerned for our safety with the trees around our house. Venerucci says it happened fast, all within 20 minutes. The wind started to pick up around 11.30 on Saturday night. He went out to the front of his house to see if everything was okay. The second I walked to the front of the house to go look at the front, uh, that's when I heard my wife scream saying, it's coming down, and she went to our son's room, covered him, and then I went and grabbed my daughter after taking a knee, making sure it wasn't on my head. These photos show it all. The branches broke through the windows and through the roof. He says the right side of his house totaled. Called 911, uh, Pleasanton Fire showed up, and they let us know that the house was not structurally sound anymore turn off the um, the electricity, shut off the gas, and evacuate as soon as possible due to the amount of weight on the roof. Victor Govamzadeh owns East Bay Tree Service, which has been busied with storm cleanup. He says the ground is saturated, so roots aren't holding. With more rain this week, he expects it could get worse. So we've had unprecedented amount of rain, and so the ground is so saturated that everything is just toppling over now. So a lot of these trees that are older and mature that have survived for a long time never seen rains like this before. Venerucci says these are heritage trees, so by law they're limited with what they can do to them. But once the tree is cleared, there's problem number two: tarping the roof to prevent flooding from the coming rain. There's multiple holes in the roof coming through the ceilings. Uh, last night, the branches coming through, plus other areas of the roof had holes. Uh, the rainwater is coming in, and that's the number one concern right now. In Pleasanton, Ansar Hassan, ABC 7 News.